Hi, I'm at the Williamson Art Gallery and Museum, which is hosting a summer-long exhibition focused on the Della Rabere pottery, which is undoubtedly the most interesting manifestation of the arts and crafts movement to come out of Merseyside. The gallery holds the largest collection of this unique enterprise, which was in production between 1894 and 1906, and was the brainchild of Harold Rathbone, a junior member of the distinguished Liverpool family. I'm talking to Alison Bailey-Smith, press officer for the Williamson Art Gallery and Museum. Alison, a busy night for you. Oh, it's been fabulous. A nice turnout from the friends and from other people as well. We've had people from Rathbones who helped sponsor the event and from John Moore's University. An awful lot of work has gone into this on your part, I dare say. Um, I think more from Colin, Julie and Julie, uh, really, to, to pull the exhibition together and to write the book but we've been promoting it for a long time and um, hopefully people will get to see it before it finishes. Where can people get the book? The book's available in the gallery um, or it, you can just, just search from Renaissance to Regent Street and you can buy it online. But we prefer you bought it in the gallery. Of course. How long does the exhibition run for? It runs right until the 4th of September um, and we're open Wednesday to Sunday 10 till 5 o'clock. Julie, thanks very much for talking to us. An exciting evening for you. It is, yes. It's uh, take a long time of preparation. But, yeah. uh, Tell me good. more about your interest in uh, the Della Rabia pottery. I think the attraction, I think visually, it's very exciting. I think I love the colours, I like the fact that every pot is different. I, mean, I love English porcelain, but so much of it is churned out, it's the same. But there's, no, not, there's not one piece of the same, even the panels, there'll be different on because they were all done by different people. Mm. I love that, and I love the colours that they use. I, say, I think it's a very romantic time, the fact that you wanted to change the world. You wanted to make conditions better for workers. It was a, a battle against industrialisation. It's all brought into this one story of this very tiny and for decades and decades obscure pottery. Um, and, and that's what I love about it. I think it's just the individualism, this sort of fight of the, of the ordinary person against the, uh, the great industrialisation and the uh, machine. That's great. Thank you, yeah. Julie. It's definitely well worth a visit down to the Williamson Gallery to see this. As Julie says, it is a unique opportunity to actually see this exhibition and you're very unlikely to see it in its entirety again. Don't miss out.